Okay, this is a short little video on how to put a Glide mass track into a Lechner. So here's the Glide mass track. Why would you want to put it into a Lechner? This is why. It is super, super, super slippery. Really clean, high performance, perfect for your Lechner. So here's the Lechner mass track with the Glide. Basically, they're pretty similar, but there's some key differences that you have to kind of figure out to get it in. Uh, here they are kind of side by side, um, pretty much the same length, but actually the Lechner's a little longer, but that's okay because you don't actually use the full length on, on the Lechner, so the Glide is, is just fine. Um, my Lechner uh, mass track actually has corrector weights on it because the Olympian that uh, raced it, uh, Teddy Wong, uh, was too light, so he needed to put some uh, corrector weights on uh, for the Olympic trials. Uh, the first difference is when you look at the bottom, now the glide looks a lot shorter, but that's just because the pedal is a lot bigger, so it's not really uh, shorter. Um, but you notice that there's different holes. Uh, the glide has center line holes and the Lechner has offset holes on the, uh, on the sides. So um, you have to take that into account. So the way I took it into account is I just grabbed a piece of wood and then I uh, marked up the wood with little dots of Sharpie through the little holes and then I drilled the holes uh, in the piece of wood and then I laid the piece of wood onto the glide mass track and then marked off where the holes are. That's just how I got the holes in the right place for the glide mass track and then uh, I cut the uh, holes into the uh, glide mass track. Yes, those are lasers. It's so much fun to use lasers, right? Um, this hole was a little weird. I, I, I barely got it to fit. It lined up with the uh, machined in inserts in the Lechner. I ended up not using it, but whatever. Um, so this is probably the most challenging part. The pedal doesn't really fit in the, the centerboard slot of the Lechner. So you have to figure out what to do. Um, here's another shot of like the pedal just not fitting in the uh, centerboard trunk. The first step is to duct tape the pedal into the aluminum track so the assembly remains tight in one piece when installing it. Using a Dremel tool carefully for a few minutes allows one to create a cavity in the board so the pedal can fit. The Lechner's constructed with an epoxy foam sandwich. Thus, one is just cutting through the outer skin and into the foam to create the cavity. It may take a few passes to cut enough of the material away for the pedal to fit nicely. After the cavity is cut, mask the region off generously so lots of fiberglass is lapped onto the board away from the cavity to guarantee good adhesion when you patch it back up with fiberglass. Bruce Kendall recommends carbon fiberglass if you have that. I just had normal glass handy so I used that. Bruce recommended four layers of normal glass and three layers of carbon. One should use packing tape around the pedal and track to allow one to press the assembly into the board while the resin is drying. When I was cutting through, there was a funny linear cavity present that a Q-tip fit into perfectly. It's important to stuff that cavity with something to prevent air bubbles. Be sure to mask off the screw holes as you don't want those to fill up with resin. After the initial layup cured, I looked for any air bubbles and put on another coat of epoxy to make sure everything was all sealed. Another reason to use the glide mass track is to allow one to use heavier rigs than the standard 6.5 meter rig from 1988. Personally, I've been having a ton of fun with a 12.2 meter rig on the Lechner that simply jammed up the original mass track but glides smoothly with the glide mass track. Last step is just to kind of screw it in. Um, the Lechner has inserts, threaded inserts, which are really nice. Uh, and if you line up your holes, you can screw right into those uh, inserts. There were a couple holes that didn't really work out. And so I did use some of the centerline holes. Um, Glide will send you wood screws. I kind of get scared to death screwing in wood screws into the Lechner, but it does look like 
uh, it just went into um, uh, pure epoxy or fiberglass or whatever it's made out of where the inserts are. So it wasn't like I was drilling into uh, the core uh, of the board. So I used two wood screws, like one right under the um, universal here and one for the uh, pedal as well. So that's just how I did it. I'm sure other people probably do it a little bit differently, maybe more efficiently, maybe less efficiently. But um, yeah, it's kind of a grind. It takes a little while to uh, do it, but it came out okay. So uh, hope to see you on the water sometime.